think a lot of, of Coach McCorney's team and the way they played. And uh, you know, we not because we didn't play well last week. It was kind of surprised we didn't play better. And uh, we worked hard to have a better plan. I don't think we practiced any better. We kind of practiced the way we practiced, but we talked about playing hard uh, and, and coming ready to ready to, to play hard because it's uh, more than anything. I think that's a choice. I think the way we we practice and do things uh, give us a chance, but you still got to come out ready to go and. Talked about that for the most part. I thought the turnover early was nice and to get the points. Then the uh, onside kick we got and to get points, that was huge. Had a law in the second quarter offensively. Kind of, kind of let it milk around and uh, was pretty good to the fourth quarter. Had a couple more laws that we got to work on. So not a complete game, but a lot of good, a lot of good OD. Got to keep tightening up some structure and we're in position. We busted a couple coverages, which wasn't, we, we would definitely have to correct. Uh, but all in all, uh, very proud of their effort and uh, Looking forward to and, you know these guys enjoying the, this the proper way tonight and come in and see if we can find a way to play another good opponent next week, a very good opponent at their place and continue to grow this team this year. Kevin, what's talking about having a better plan? Uh, Nate seemed to get off to a nice start with the short passes, high percentage passes, and he kind of you know stayed that way all day. Well, in in some ways, it's uh, again maybe again some things we tried to emphasize. Uh, we still miss some things. Uh, as we went, we got to play better out there. But the um, uh, just the nature of this 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 team is, is so uh, run oriented, uh, and I think as we as we threw it, it helped the run game come because you know early those plays were getting ones and twos and threes, and at the end, kind of wore them a little bit because we were bigger than them. But they were going to outnumber you and just put more people than you could block. Their corners tackled well several times. We we captured the edge and we cracked the safety. And we got on the corner and the corner made a tackle for for two and three yards. But the ball needed to get outside. Uh, just more than anything, but because of their structure and, and the way they do things, and uh, and so it wasn't it, it, you always want to get your quarterback off to a good start. And you say the short pass has helped him, but uh, it's some it's sometimes it's a little bit just maybe the nature of the defense, the defense this week. Kevin, um, I think North Texas cut the lead 21-7 and a half, and like you said, you were kind of dismal in the in the second quarter. What'd you tell your team at halftime? They they came out with the spunk they did like in the first quarter. Well, again, we've always talked about. You know, because sometimes our, 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 we can get a little stale coming out half and the energy, and you got to create it yourself. So we could go, you know, we come out and we go three and out, two times offensive, and they score, and it kind of, you know, extended the lead. And so we, we talked about let's get after it. So we, we, we take the first drive to make it 28. Uh, we, we go, th we get a defensive stop, and I think with them with the 35. So it was kind of, and I don't know if it was the second, I thought it was the second drive, maybe it's the third. I don't remember those drive sequences. Uh, but I do remember. Saying at halftime, we're going to get a script. We're going to get some plays we want. We need to take the first one down the field and score. And then it was nice that the defense to get the stop. And then maybe we didn't score that second drive. <clears throat> thought we did, but if not, it was the third one because I know it got the 35-10 or 35-7. So uh, that was something we talked about. We talked about a week ago that uh, we thought a week ago outside of a couple critical plays we missed and not playing hard and good, good plan. But uh, you know, we had a couple errors and some plays got called back. And we came out of the third quarter and we were stale and we could have really created some energy. We didn't. And we talk about how we have to create our own energy. And those kids did a great job today, and the coaches did a great job at halftime. How big was that onside kick? You sense that sort of knocked them back a little bit and you're capitalizing on Well, that. you know, if you execute it, and again, if we don't, you guys will say it's stupid way of doing it, but you know, you thought you, you, know, you had it. And, you know, there's like, I, I thought at 42 10 that instead of kicking field goal, it's definitely a makeable kick, but I thought there's a greater chance of them blocking a kick than the way we play defense, them going down the field to score. And then all of a sudden, you know, we didn't execute third down and fourth down. So you're playing odds when, you know, it's a 32-point game. You can't make a 35-point game, five touchdowns instead of still five scores. But, uh, you know, you're playing odds. So we looked at it playing odds. We thought it was there. Uh, you still got to execute it. Nice kick, nice recovery. By, I think it was Clyde Newton. So, you know, those guys still got to make the play. All we talked about this week was playing hard to make plays. And we talked about practicing hard to make plays. And instead of waiting around to make the play, you got to play hard to make the play. So. Great, great job by, by uh, Coach Inge to work that up, and it was it was it really helped us. It was no doubt, it's huge. Shane, I'm sorry. Shane made his second uh, highest though. He was one of those two really big plays. What made him effective today? Again, nature of their commitment to stop the run or some one on one. So you start you know with the short stuff, and then along the way you get a chance for a you know a deep shot, whether it be a you know a double move or a post shot, and and both those worked out pretty good. Coach, you had. Uh, Springs out, Ralston at left tackle, Demetri at right tackle, and you also have Jake at left guard. So just talk about what you thought of how the other one played. Yeah, we didn't play good inside. So, you know, Jake Bailey has started, and, and, and so is Jake Reed. 
and Wes Rogers and, and there's some competition there. And, and Spriggs was, I mean, he was, he looked good Friday practice. He, he practiced, I don't know if you guys watched, he was with the second team in the warmups. He was clear to go. Matter of fact, Ralston needed a blow, and where the score was, uh, you know, Greg said, "Do you want to go with Spriggs or the other guys?" I said, "Go with the other guys because where you know where the score was at like 42 or whatever." Uh, so he could have played, but the real deal, he he missed a lot, Tuesday Wednesday practice, and we don't really penalize you for that. But we got a lot of confidence in Ralston, Dimitri. They've all played, you know, 9, 10, 11 guys have played. I mean, Dimitri played the bulk a year ago in the Purdue games. He's been in big games. He's played on that field. And, He's a Texas guy. We thought he played pretty good against his boys down there, so it was, it was good for him. He's earned it. And Jason, Jason should be full tilt. And like I say, he could have played today. With the uh, passing game. And we weren't messing with him by making a point. He just didn't practice, started the other guy. Game started going well. Just kind of hit them in his best interest. Not to play Jason more than there was an issue. You know, just missed some practice. He was cleared. He was going good. Why, why put him in that position was our kind of thought. With, with the passing game, I don't know. It's pretty tough out there. I mean, we, it was a difficult throwing game. That kind of a west wing and shoot that sucker comes down and whips around. It's like a, it's like a tornado, a, a cyclone kind of deal. The way it always swirls in there. So I mean, it was Nate had to, Nate had to, to play with some base and feet and rip it today. And it's, it's more important his ability to get on target. Protection was good. Uh, they have any sacks on us? They came in leading the nation in sacks. So I think we did pretty decent there. Um, of course, they had 11 in one game, so that's a huge stat. But uh, you know, a lot of that goes to, to, to again, Nate today, because it wasn't an easy passing day. And the structure of their team, they were going to make you do it. And we had to, and that was a huge part of what's going on. So, uh, but, you know, your time, you're always working on timing, because no different than a golfer, you can get a little quick, a little off. It just takes just a little bit to be off. And when you're off, you're a little more, you can always be marginal. So you're always fighting to stay in rhythm and time. It's a constant battle. And the more you practice, but you got to practice at game speed, you know. So, meaning, you know, it's practice habits and doing things right. And the more those young guys, we got Don Booth out there a lot more today. Uh, Jay Sean got took a hit and had like a little uh, uh, head, you know, concussion syndrome. So we'll see where he is. So we kind of lost him. He got he got hit in the first drive and we didn't have him. So hopefully we'll get you know he'll be fine. We'll see, you know. But uh, he was not at our disposal. Other than that, it was good to get those guys going. A couple good plays by uh, Casaro. A couple good plays by Fuchs. Really good blocking by Michael Cooper and those two guys. The run game today was good. It's probably as good because the tight end and perimeter blocking as much as the O line. And so a good good day by those guys. Anything else? Uh, D'Angelo, another 100-yard uh, game and maybe the best run of his career. Um, what's been Which one was that? Oh, the touchdown. The spinning, yeah. yeah. Uh, how has he been so successful with, even though he's not the primary primary guy all the time? He's a good teammate. Time. You know, for example, we have several, we talk about, we have, you know, several kids on our team are Jewish, and they say, Yom Kippur, it's a big day. And some guys had to go through some, you know, I mean, I, we, we got to get there playing, didn't eat today. Hadn't had anything about 24 cuts. The, the nature of religion, and we made a big deal about being great teammates. And Delo is one of our best teammates. And he's a little knucklehead now, and there's a little, you know, he's, yeah. he's you know, you got to keep, got to keep him kind of tight. But he does a heck of a job in school. He's growing as a man. I mean, he's in his own way. I mean, he's he's one of the kids you can be more proud of because he's he does some neat things and he plays with a lot of passion. But he understands his role and he he plays his role as hard as anyone. And he goes after his role, and he's good with his role, and he's going to give you what you ought to watch him. Just watch him on kick cover. If you want to see a kid, just watch him. He's 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 the seventh guy or the fourth guy from the right on kick. Just watch him. He's he he gives you what he's got. He's a great example of what we want guys to look like, and that's what teammates. That's better than coaching, is when you can tell Divine Redding, you know, watch his effort instead of pouting about not being the starting tailback to go out there and play as hard as you can and cover kicks and help us win. So he's 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 a neat story. He's a good kid. But we need a lot better at him down the stretch. I'm cool. happy with you agree with a couple, a couple of those guys, obviously T. Gray and, and Chase making big interceptions. Awesome. There's a lot, you know, Chase, you know, redshirt freshman. You got Fan out there making some plays. Redshirt guys, again, we keep playing those guys. Uh, you got to play them all. I think the more we play as we go through the year, we won't wear down as we have, I think, defensively in years past. <clears throat> so, again, the more we keep playing those receivers and guys, we keep playing the backs to keep them fresh. It's going to, it's not just for this game. But it's going to help us you know, as October keeps coming and November comes and we get into the, into the meat of this Big Ten schedule. David, last question. Hey, uh, Coach, you have uh, Indiana has won back-to-back uh, -back games either the past two seasons that you're probably as mindful of that as anyway. I, I thought in 12, didn't we beat Illinois and Indiana back-to-back? -back the, the last two, the last oh, two seasons. Yeah, last season this season. Well, this season ain't over. I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, the last two seasons, 12 and 13. This is this season. Last season was last two. Just like just like Study never won on the road, but he was 10 or 15 with two touchdowns in Illinois a couple years ago. You guys forgot that one, but I didn't. 
Anyway, what, <laughs> FYI. what, what sir, I guess, message to the to the guys uh, about that? I mean, obviously, you've been you've, you've talked a lot about striving for consistency and backing yeah. it up. That's just it's just. I mean, I thought there was a heck of a football team last night on TV that lost at home. That just shows how easy it is when you're off. You're vulnerable. It's just hard to be home. We I promise you, we have really good kids doing well. The coaches are working hard and stuff. We're going to play a really good opponent at their place. I think they're what, uh, four and one right now. I think. Uh, played a good schedule, uh, tremendous coach, uh, solid across the board. We've got an open day week. They're, it's a tough place to play, but now it's Big Ten football. That's every week. That's why you want to be here. Um, again, you know our deal's not doing it back to back. Our deal's doing as much as we can. And so it's not. It's, I mean, it's not one day we can. As soon as you go, I mean, we can get to the point where you can get more than just back to back. So we're not going to make a big deal about going back to back. We want to make a big deal of, you know, when you play hard, you can play with a lot of people, and when you don't, you're very vulnerable. And we're just trying to teach our guys how to keep learning, keep growing, and keep playing hard. And I know that's that's the way most good teams are. That's what we'll get from Iowa. It's going to be a great challenge. Uh, but we're not going to harp on it because there's a lot of good football players. There's a lot of things going in a, in a reasonably positive direction. Uh, we're not beating our chests. Um, but at the same time, there's there's a lot of good things happening. And we're going to keep just striving for them to keep pushing. You know, how, how hungry they want to be, how important. Because playing hard, the way they played today was nothing more than a choice. We got to facilitate that, but they got to make that choice to go out and fly around and play that way. Good. Thanks.